Hello! Welcome to our instructional video on how to create an estimate in ProEstimator by WebEst. We will review how to create a basic estimate from start to finish. After you've logged into your ProEstimator account, on the left sidebar from a PC or the drop-down menu on a mobile device, select New Estimate. A new estimate will be opened and you'll be on the Customer Information page. There are no mandatory fields on this page, but I would recommend entering a name and contact number at minimum to allow easy lookup at a later date. In this example, I'll choose a customer from my Save Customer list to expedite. Next, navigate to the Vehicle page. There are a number of ways to access the vehicle data. You can enter in a license plate number and decode that number by simply choosing the state it was issued in and selecting the decode button. You can enter a 17-digit VIN and select the decode button. Or, as in this example, I'm going to manually select from the drop-down fields, and the minimum required information to access the database is the year, make, model, and trim level. In this example, we'll say that we're working on a Chevy Camaro, and it's an LT trim level. There is additional information available to choose from in the drop-downs under the vehicle types, but these are not required to access the vehicle database. Next, we'll navigate to Add Parts. Here we'll put the actual lines of damage entries on the estimate. Take note that at the top of the page, you'll have several action buttons here to dictate what type of operation you're performing and if replacing parts, what type of part source. You'll also notice we have a left and right toggle button. This is not necessary on a PC, but will be useful when on a touchscreen device. On a PC, the left and right mouse buttons dictate the side of the vehicle you're working on. Let's go ahead and enter a damage entry. Let's say in this example that we need to replace the hood. We'll make that selection from the drop-down, and you'll notice the illustration will pop up. Next. I want you to pay attention that on the parts detail to the right side of the uh, illustration, you will get all the details about that part to help you ensure you're making a correct selection. Notice when I hover over the reference number one for the hood that the parts detail box is populated by all the information related to that particular panel. You'll notice that we have the part number, the part name, the price, and all associated labor. This is correct in this example, so I'm going to go ahead and select the number one. Notice we've now added that damage entry, which is a replacement, onto the estimate with all the details we saw in the parts detail box. Next, since this was a replacement, we'll go ahead and add a blend operation to the fender. So I'll navigate in the parts section drop down to the front fender sheet metal section. Here we'll say that we're going to blend the right fender. First, I will move to the top of the screen to the action buttons and select the blend operation. Then, I'm going to say that the panel we wish to blend is the right fender panel, so I'm going to hover over the reference number one. I see that this is the correct one. I'm going to click on the right mouse button to select blend right fender panel. Notice we've now added the right fender panel blend to the, uh, the estimate. Let's say that the left fender was also damaged, so we need to make that entry. In the action buttons at the top of the screen, I'll select repair. Next, I will hover the mouse over the number one and left click, signifying it's the left fender I wish to apply the repair to. Notice we have the repair options in the paint options box appear. In the uppermost field on the repair options, I will enter my repair time. In this example, it will be three hours. I could also include R and I that fender with the repair in one single operation by selecting the checkbox to the left of the labor allowance. In this example, we do not need the R&I, so I'll leave that unselected. We'll move down to the paint options. Notice in this two-stage repair that we already have the base code and the clear code uh, selected to include. For this example, we'll say we need edging time, so I'll move over to the edging time allowance box directly below it and select include. Next, select OK. Notice we've made that entry for the repair on the left fender, and we've also included the edging time. Let's go ahead and we'll say we need to make one more replacement and the left headlamp on this particular uh, estimate is going to need to be replaced. So I'll go ahead and select front lamps, combination lamps from the section drop down. I'm going to hover my mouse over the reference number. It is indeed the combination lamp. 
I want to select replace in the action buttons. We are on OEM in this example and then left click on the number one. Notice we have now replaced the left headlamp but the labor overlap recommendations has suggested that we will need to R&I the front bumper cover and we need to aim the headlamps to complete that entry. I'll go ahead and accept all overlaps. We've now added those additional items based off of the original left combination lamp replacement. In this example, this will be all the entries we make on this repair, but we do need to finalize the estimate. Next, I'll, add, I'll click on Add Manual. Here, we can either add a completely manual entry for any necessary operations, or in this example, we simply need to finalize the estimate by adding a preset charge. Preset charges are manually created from your rate profile and will be available on all estimates using that rate profile. I'll select the drop down for the preset charges and select cover car. Notice that it is pre filled in the charge for the material and the labor time. Simply click Add to add this to your repair. In this example, we will say that this is the completion of this estimate. No further damage entries are needed. So we have some options here. We could quick print from the link at the top of the page, or we could go to the print estimate page where you'll have more controls. We'll review printing operations in another training video. We'll say that this is all we needed was to generate this estimate this time. So we need to simply click on close estimate to return to the manage estimates page where we can open other estimates that are already in the system or create a new estimate as needed. This concludes this demonstration of how to create a basic estimate in Pro Estimator. Thank you for your interest in Pro Estimator and thank you for being a WebS customer.